I need some tea, cause I'm about to get spilling. Co wash shouldn't exist. Quick sniff. Oh, well it's smelly. This is actually from Jennifer Aniston's brand. And while I do love some broccoli, I don't know what it does topically. First impressions, I think I'm gonna absolutely love this. This is not it. Listen, 2022 was so last year. We're in 2023 now, but I thought that for today's video, we could look back at the year and some of the highly rated products awarded by Allure. How alluring are any of these products? Throughout this video, I reviewed 16 products. Do keep in mind, I didn't review all of the products. I am in Canada, so I reviewed what was available to me and also products that were cruelty-free. If it wasn't cruelty-free, it's not gonna be for me going into 2023, okay? And that's that. We've got two wash days and some refreshing going on in between. I will have the links to all the products in the description box below in the order that they appear on screen. There is a lot to go through. We're gonna keep this intro brief, but if you are new to me, what's good, everybody? I am your main girl, Mel. I'm a curly hair stylist, professional. Now, just before we get into the video, I just wanna make a quick mention of a couple of the changes you're gonna see on the channel this year. We have a new posting date. So Texture Thursdays is when you're gonna see a brand new full length YouTube video from us. So that's our new posting date. Put it in your calendar, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you know when we got the new videos. And stay tuned to the end because at the end of every video, we're gonna start bringing back a question and answer segment from a question that was left on our previous video. That way all of you have the wonderful answer. So on that note, if you ever have a question, make sure you leave it in the comment section below. And without further ado, let's get to it. All right, so first things first, we have some very particular circumstances here. I am coming from a blowout. Please excuse the sound. I'll try not to talk too much while I am in the shower, but alas, this is a review. And as I was saying to you, this wash day is not just going from blow dry to curly, but my hair also isn't dirty. Which is the only time I would consider using. This is the Sherry, I think that's how you say it. Sherry Co-Wash Cleansing Conditioner with organic aloe vera and cactus and lemon essential oil. It sounds lovely. It sounds like I'm gonna love how it smells. Yes, that is lemon fresh. Refreshing, truly. Mm. Texture-wise, I mean, it looks thick and creamy. It looks like a conditioner. So how well does it actually cleanse? I mean, let's find out. I think the packaging is super cute right off the bat. It reminds me a lot of pattern packaging. Obviously, different colors. These actually speak more to me. I do love the green. But let's see if we love the cream. <laughs> so I'm gonna first lather it in my hands a little bit. If it lathers, the hands are not lathering, not at all, not a single bubble. So just like any cleanser, we're gonna, after applying on wet hair, we're gonna add a little bit of water and hope that that helps to emulsify. Keyword hopes. I mean, let's see, there's no sulfates. I'm also not really seeing any major cleansing surfactant at all. Just humectants, conditioning ingredients, and oils. And I also feel like I need to add more. This is where, this is where a co-wash would never really be able to replace a shampoo. And the label is saying that it replaces your shampoo and conditioner. It is a two-in-one. I'm not feeling like it is a true two-in-one right now. We're gonna really work it but try not to hurt it. That's what I also find about co-washes because you're vigorously trying to scrub your shampoo to try to lather and emulsify and cleanse somehow. You can be doing damage to your scalp. You could be causing breakage right at the root. So not always a good idea for you, but alas, hair does feel smooth. It is feeling conditioned. It says you can detangle this through. So that's what we're gonna do. Using this Planet Goody Ouchless Detangling Brush. This one, the best detangler, this is it. There's no handle. I actually thought that it was a pet brush when I first saw it, but let's take a look at this bristle placement. They are aligned diagonally. If I turn the brush on a 45 degree angle, I can see the rows going right through. Some people have found that detangling the hair with the rows facing vertically helps to detangle a little bit better. I've kind of experienced that too, but I don't think it makes really a huge difference. As for these bristle teeth, they are pretty firm. And of course, as you can see, they do have the little balls on the tips 
which are supposed to be more gentle on the scalp. And hopefully this is gentle on the hair, but I'm waiting to see if this is gonna be gentle on my hand, my wrist. Cause without a handle, I don't know. I don't know about this, let's see. So I'm finding that it rolls out of the hand and then it feels like it's gonna slip right out. I don't have a good grip on it. This is very, very slippery. There's little grooves in the side for your fingers, but they're very small grooves. They don't give you a very good grip at all. And this is just super slippery. I mean, my hands have product on them, but that's what happens when you're in the shower. Then there's this, this handle here that's getting caught in there. This is, I guess, just to hang your brush because it certainly does not fit on the wrist, which would be helpful because, again, this feels like it's gonna slip, it's gonna fall, and then I could slip and fall. And after the year I've had, I don't wanna risk any of that. I don't know, I don't know, it's not, it's not giving goody, you know, planet goody. As I am brushing, it's firm bristles, so it does feel really nice on the scalp. I do love that. And as for the slip of this co-wash, I mean, it feels really nice in my hair. However, if your hair is really dirty and you're reaching for a co-wash, which isn't gonna cleanse your hair, there's gonna be a lot of buildup and that can make your hair so much harder to detangle. But since my hair didn't have any buildup, this is feeling nice. I am enjoying this. Let's rinse. See, I can't put this in between my legs because it feels like it's slipping from there as well. I don't like it. I'm not the only one that holds my brush in between my legs, right? Absolutely, obviously not. This is not it. And now, after my rinse, I just, I feel like I still have to condition it. Honestly, co-wash shouldn't exist. It just shouldn't, just use a moisturizing shampoo, a gentle shampoo. I hate to say it, love the packaging, like the smell, hate it. That it's not, it's not for me. Personally, I would advise you not to waste your money, but honey, Okay, let's change up the energy for something that is worth your money, honey. This was actually already in my shower. This got voted the best hair mask for fine hair all around. I think it's absolutely freaking divine. What is it? It is the Color Wow X Chris Appleton Money Mask. It is just for super glossy, expensive looking hair, and it does just that. Let me show you the texture of this. This is not like your regular deep conditioner that you're thinking of. I want you to think, let me, let me, let me, let me, all right, on. Do you keep this on? I always keep this on. I don't know why, and then I, I struggle with it in the shower. So, <sighs> wow. Talk about like fresh from the salon type of smell. It almost smells like a really nice cologne, but not like a really masculine cologne. Like the, everyone's gonna love this. Everyone's gonna love this type of scent. And look at it, look at it, okay? Let's let the camera adjust for me. Color is this very light blue and the texture is thick, but not necessarily creamy. It's like a gel. I always say it reminds me of the Neutrogena Hydro Boost moisturizer for your face. Truly, this is so freaking interesting. So I'm going to apply this to my hair. Don't need a lot of it. And I'm gonna be honest with you, like if you are someone that avoids silicones, I don't know why, but if you are someone that avoids silicones, then I mean, you're not gonna to want to use this mask, but I will say that you are absolutely missing out. 100% missing out. I just massage it into my hair. And then after a minute, I'll start to detangle. And I swear my hair just, it just melts. It feels super silky smooth. And out of the shower, it is gonna help to give you that super glossy, luxurious looking hair because it's filling in any cracks of the cuticle. It's gonna prevent your hair from getting frizzy. It is rich in Mediterranean plant-based proteins, antioxidants, vitamins, minerals, all which help deliver super glossy, supple, expensive looking hair. Mm -hmm. And it contains a proprietary pro capital, don't know if you say that like that, complex, which helps to anchor roots and lessen hair loss. I don't know about all of that. I feel like those are results that you have to see long term, but immediately you just feel the difference with this in your hair. And you only have to let it sit in for three to five minutes. So that's my favorite type of hair mask, a luxury one, and it's worth the money, honey. 10 out of 10, approved. And to brush that through, I'm going to use this, the British M Paddle Brush. It's like a flex paddle brush. This got the award for best paddle brush. And I like it better because it has a handle. I feel like this is very similar to the Goody brush. 
it reaches really nice and deep into your scalp. Also has the little balls on the ends. Also is curved to really like fit the shape of your head. It feels really, really nice. When I first used this, I was detangling day six hair. And although the amount of hair fall you have is not a consistent number, it fluctuates. I did notice a much smaller hairball. Hairball. <laughs> after detangling with this. Smaller compared to like my past few washes. So that was a plus. It's also ribbed, like the handle has some textures, so it feels comfortable and secure in the hand. I feel like the weight is very balanced. It feels heavy duty, like it feels like really good quality. I really like it. I mean, if you don't have a hairbrush and you've been looking for one, I mean, it's good. It's nothing completely revolutionary, but it has a lot of aspects of different brushes I like in one. My hair, oh, I just, I want you to feel it. But I'm gonna rinse and then we'll get into styling. All right, let's get into some styling. We've just done a lot of conditioning, barely cleansing. So when it comes to styling, I don't wanna do too much. We're gonna keep the routine very, very simple. I want volume and I want curls four days. This is apparently the best curl cream. This is the TPH Curls for Days, a moisture rich curl cream to define, hydrate, and hold. This is for curly and coily hair. So let's see, shall we? Is that how you, oh, it's, it's not a twist off. It's not, you don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. You just pop the cap and squeeze. Look at that cream. Okay, sulfate free obviously, silicone free, phthalate free, paraben free, and then cruelty free and vegan. This has mango seed butter, coconut, pequi, I don't even know what that is, uh, and broccoli seed oil. And while I do love some broccoli, I don't know what it does topically, but let's see. Curls for Days helps encourage and define your curls and coils so they stay popping come rain or shine. Oh, 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 oh. is that so? Does it also help against snow? These days, one day it's rain and one day it's snow, so I guess we'll have to find out. Obviously, I'm going to give you updates periodically throughout the week to see how this whole wash day lasts me. And while this is a pretty nice lotion cream, it's got very rich ingredients like coconut oil and mango seed butter, but it is supposed to be lightweight. Now, fragrance-wise, it is pretty heavy. I actually quite like it. I don't know what it reminds me of. Maybe something like a perfume that my mom has. It is floral and there's like a good zing to it. And it feels good as I work it through my hair. Let's keep using the best paddle brush because while it's feeling nice to detangle, I don't know how it's going to define my curls. And I want a multi-use brush, preferably. I don't think a brush can do everything for you. I do recommend having at least two on hand, different types of brushes if you can. But hopefully this can do more than just detangle. Although it's doing it really well. Oh my God, the scalp. My scalp is living, breathing, and brushing right now. I'm blushing right now. So honestly, with this brush, I think you're gonna like it if you have really thick hair and on the curly, like maybe just curly side, like my hair. But if you have wavy hair or coily hair, I don't think this is gonna give you enough tension at all for brush styling. I have to, like it's, it's gentle. There's not giving a lot of tension. It's very important that I am pressing. I don't wanna speak too soon, but I'm not feeling like this is going to be the best. I feel like I definitely want to redo these bangs here. I'm going to add a little bit of water and let's try the Planet Goodie brush. Let's see if she'll redeem herself. All right, now I want to try the best mousse for volume. This is the Design Me Puff Me Volumizing Mousse to create long lasting voluminous bounce with no crunch or frizz. You have to shake this one up because it is in an aerosol can. I don't know why, but something about this nozzle is so nostalgic to me. It just reminds me of like my drugstore faves that I used to use when I was using mousse all the time in my routines. Ooh, there she is. Let's give it a whiff. It smells like alcohol. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna smell that so closely. We'll see if the, the fragrances start coming out a little bit more. As I apply, I'm gonna gently just apply this all over my hair, like so. I don't know why I'm not smelling much at all. Like there's definitely something there, but I think it's being overpowered by the TPH product that we put in, the curl cream. Let's hope that this does give me lots of volumizing. I'm gonna go ahead and diffuse off camera and I'll be right back. 
I'm back and I'm bigger. I am liking these results. Usually this is where I say take a quick look before scrunching out the cast, but my hair is truly just soft. There is not a single ounce of crunch on the hair, which is usually a little bit alarming, especially while diffusing, but yet my hair still held its shape really well. It survived my diffusing, which I did do for volumes, and my hair just feels super soft, super lightweight, very touchable. I'm gonna try not to touch it too much, okay? Relax. Let us complete this look with the best hair oil awarded to the JVN Complete Nourishing Shine Drops. This product is meant to be used as a finishing oil to kind of seal in your style. And it's supposed to be smoothing, adding shine, giving silkiness to the hair, but without silicones. That's the whole thing about JVN. They are silicone free and they use an alternative to silicone, which is hemi squalling. Now, I need some tea because I'm about to get spilling. I have put these hemi squalling based products to the test and compared to my other silicone containing products. And for me, it's just not it. It's really not. When I put this on my hair compared to silicone products, this is not as silky. Now this could very well be because my hair is high porosity, it's dry, it likes a little extra coating to give my hair a little extra substance. Cause yes, my hair is very fine as well. So the fine and the high porosity of it, it can just look very, airy but also like really frizzy especially when my hair has been blown out it's very poofy and while hemi squalene is very light it's not enough and it doesn't replace the job of a silicone for me it just doesn't make my hair feel silky and isn't nourishing or moisturizing enough for me and that's been my experience with a lot of these products um personally not my favorite i don't reach for these drops ever they have a a very clean scent it almost it's almost like a car freshener. Like it's a fresh, clean scent. Very, very soft. The product line in general is very lovely, but I tried the air dry cream, the recovery serum. Not moisturizing enough for me, no. But Jonathan, I look forward to seeing what you have coming in 2023. Maybe then there will be something for me. As of now, I'm not preferring any of these silicone freeze or just in general. I can't recommend them. Uh, I say try them out at a Sephora if you can because they're there. But I've definitely tried other hair serums and hair oils that I more prefer. Now, to hopefully end on a more positive note, I don't mean to be so negative. I'm just being truthful. This is my experience. This is my review you're here for. Okay, you know that we love scalp care in this house. And this is the DP Hue ACV Daily Scalp Serum. This one, the best scalp treatment for tonics. Tonics, serums, this is what she looks like. And I've never used this. It is a daily product that we'll have to apply consecutively. So that's what I'm gonna start doing starting tonight. It is color safe, gluten free, cruelty free and vegan. And it's an oil free blend, which is great if you naturally have an oily scalp because you don't wanna be adding more oil to that. Especially because adding lots of oil to the scalp can lead to dandruff if left in for a long time because oil feeds the yeast that naturally lives on our scalp called malassezia. We don't want that. We don't want to throw off the balance of our scalp. Hopefully this keeps the scalp balanced. It's supposed to keep it hydrated and also gently exfoliate. Quick sniff. Oh yeah. Well, it smells like apple cider vinegar. Really don't love that, but maybe it'll dissipate when it's on, on the scalp. Texture wise, it feels like a watery serum. It's silky, so it feels nice, hydrating. Think like a hyaluronic acid serum, or should I say glycerin? This is rich in aqua, propendiol, butylene glycol, glycerin, apple cider vinegar, yep, right up there. Apple fruit extract, lots of fruit extracts. Ginger root water, mm-hmm, I get that as well. Aloe leaf juice, lavender, yeah, all kinds of things. In theory, it does sound nice, but well, it's smelly. I don't love that. I just massage that in, see how it smells tomorrow, and I will continue to use this nightly, at least to see if my scalp has any reactions to it. Of course, I'll also keep you updated on how these curls last me, so stay tuned, and I'll be back in a jiffy. Day two. All right, so it's a refresh day, and hold on. If you look closely, 
there is a little pimple on my hairline and that is specifically exactly where one of the, the scalp serum dripped. So we're gonna try using it uh, besides that. It doesn't smell like apple cider vinegar, so I'm glad, I'm glad for that. But let's take a look how the curls are looking. They look okay, but I wanna pump up the volume and we have got award-winning living proof, living proof, full dry volume and texture spray. We're gonna pair this with the pattern hair pick. What a beautiful hair pick. I'm so excited for this combo. So the spray is formulated with our advanced patented volumizing and texturizing molecule to provide you with weightless volume and texture that actually lasts. This, my crown, is my, my trouble area. That's where I always want more volume. I think that's where most of us always want more volume. And so this is where I'm gonna focus this and we'll see if it actually does work. We're gonna shake it well. And I can't see, so you're, you're my eyes for me, okay? Wow, it smells so beautiful. Oh my God, it smells so fresh. That is lovely. Wow, that kind of just stayed where I picked it up. Okay, cool. Now we'll take the pick, which comes in this case. It's so big. Ooh, and flexible. It's almost like I could play an instrument with this. This is an instrument. It is art. Wow. It is feeling very grippy. Wow. Oh my God. Oh my. I should have done a side by side. Um, First impressions, I think I'm gonna absolutely love this. Where has this been? I actually had this, but I had never used it. I love the dry shampoo. I think I confused it with the, the PhD Perfect Hair Day dry shampoo, and that's honestly, I think my favorite dry shampoo. Wowza. Now, is it gonna give me crazy tangles? Is it gonna be a nightmare on wash day? That we'll have to stay tuned to see. Two days later. All right, I am back with an update and I would have liked today to be a wash day. It's day five, but I do not have enough time for that. But I do have the best of refresher product. If you've been watching the channel this year, you've probably seen me use this. It's the Weedad Advanced Climate Control Feather Light Touch Up Gel Cream. So let's see if we can revive this hair. I'm actually gonna do like a full refresh with it. So I'm taking my bottle with water and I'm gonna mist my hair down. I only recommend that you actually mist the hair like this when you are trying to go uh, a full out kind of refresh. Otherwise, just take the product and some water in your hands and spot treat. But I feel like my hair needs, it needs some extra. I have a holiday party that I'm probably going to be late to, but Amanda won't let me because she has to pick me up. So I'm rushing. So I'm literally just smoothing it over the curls and doing a little, little twirl at the bottom. I am moving at record speeds. And honestly, I feel like it's already done a lot. It helped to smooth down the frizz. This, we get a couple other areas. I'm just gonna let this air dry while I put some makeup on and then maybe I'll diffuse it for literally one minute a few moments later on the bright side the hair is basically dry it's fine enough i want to do a cute hairstyle where i take half of it up into a clip top it with a little hair accessory a big hair accessory just massive and second thought no clip is better the hold is great it smells nice and it works really well in humidity that is all i could ask for while it is snowy it is super wet outside and this will do this will do for the potty stay tuned for wash day it's coming soon the next day all right it's time for another wash day and listen while this review is for you i do feel i made enough sacrifices last wash day especially in the shower we talked about how i'm not a co-wash girl and after the last wash i am ready to clarify my scalp is feeling a little bit itchy i don't know if it's the serum i don't know if i don't know what i do know is i want to use a tried and true which just happened to be awarded the best clarifying shampoo this is the best shampoo that happened to me this year this is the olplex number four c and it's the best thing that happened to me in 2022 I truly love you. This is a deep cleansing shampoo, which still happens to be sulfate free. Deep cleanse. It's gonna remove not just oil and dirt that's on your hair, product buildup, but heavy medical, medicals, but heavy metals, chlorine, pollution, minerals, all things that we do not want on our hair and our scalp. So I am going to use this in the shower and then we'll come back. A spoiler alert, I will not be conditioning my hair so it's ready for the next treatment, but I do want to condition my scalp. 
This won the best scalp treatment in a mask format, and it's also been one of my favorites. It is the Briogeo Scalp Revival Charcoal Plus Tea Tree Cooling Hydration Scalp Mask. So this is something that I'm gonna focus specifically on my scalp. It is so nice and cooling and truly hydrating without weighing the hair down. And the best part about it is it's a product that's actually made for the scalp, for the skin on the top of our head to make sure that it is protected, moisturized before going outside. Using a scalp mask, if your scalp is really, really dry on top of just exfoliating, using a scalp mask is really important in the winter. So this, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. And when I go in to apply it, I will be going right onto my scalp. And I'll let that sit on while I finish my shower business. And then we'll come back to treat the ends. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and get to it because I'm excited. These are some of my favorite products that we're starting this wash day with. I'm feeling a million times better. And now we're going to go in and make my hair feel better. This, the K18 hair mask, which if you haven't heard of it yet, you must be living under a rock. This one, Allure Best Treatment Mask, and I have to strongly agree. I have to strongly agree. Earlier this year, I did a very thorough review on this after over six months of testing, to which I concluded the proof was in the pudding. Now this is patented technology. There's nothing else like it besides the peptides in our very own hair. That's this treatment works to repair while exactly mimicking the structures in our hair. So if you have any sort of damaged hair, especially chemically damaged hair, from color, bleaching, perms, relaxers, keratins, anything, this works amazingly to strengthen the hair. My only issue with it is, and I'm gonna explain as I start applying, is that it's a little inconvenient. So, like I mentioned, I did not condition my hair in the shower. No, you're not allowed to condition your hair before applying this product. And when you have curly hair and you can't condition it, which is when you detangle it, uh, it makes things a little bit difficult. Now, first I emulsified it really well in my hands. I'm gonna very gently apply. But since my hair has not been detangled, it is difficult to work through. And I find I have to use more of it than they necessarily recommend. They say that you shouldn't need any more than four pumps. That's the maximum dosage. With this product, adding more isn't better. A little bit does go a long way. I find, unless you're curly, uh, I usually need the full four pumps. And I just try my best to really work it through. I'm gonna clip it up, put it out of my face, and let it sit on for four minutes before I can go in and apply the rest of my styling routine. This stays on, it's a leave-on, which is nice, you know, you're getting maximum benefits from it because you're not rinsing it off, it's not going down the drain, but it's the application that uh, it bothers me. Yeah, we don't vibe, we don't vibe too well. It just doesn't work. It doesn't seamlessly blend into my curly hair routine, but we'll make up for what's lacking when we're styling after four minutes. All right, so now I can try to detangle and it is much easier, I'll give you that. The product does make detangling easy after it's sat on. We're gonna add some extra water. And then we're gonna add some more conditioner because technically that's not a conditioner, it's a leave-in mask. You're not applying a lot of it and if your hair is still very dry or you heat style and you're gonna be heat styling afterwards, you still have to go in with additional products so you follow with your regular styling routine. Now introducing, this is the best of light leave-in conditioner in a spray format. It is the Lola V Perfecting Leave-In to condition, protect, repair, and style. This is actually from Jennifer Aniston's brand, The Rachel. So I'm super excited to try this. I think she came up with her brand, I mean, not, not long ago. But yeah, this is something she could have done a long time ago because she's been known for her hair for a long time. So this is actually a pump. It's not a spray, but it's a light leave-in. I gotta turn to open. I'm gonna see what she smells like. I'm so curious. I love this. It is just super light, citrus, what a delight, what a delight, not overpowering. I, 10 out of 10, love that. I don't know how many pumps that was, but I'm going to almost fight in my hands. It feels super, super silky. Wow, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that feels amazing. Let's see what it's like in the hair where there's still some tangles. So hopefully it helps me to fully detangle. Wow, I am very quickly becoming just like a super fan of that. I just love the way this feels in my hair right now. And I gotta be honest, I was a little skeptical. I was like, Jennifer Addison has straight hair. I don't know if this is going to be very curly or dry hair friendly, but I can feel immediately that yes, it is light, but it's giving my hair this protective 
coating. Like I feel, I can feel the conditioner, but it's melting in at the same time. And it's giving me this slip. I can feel that it's protecting it. What I'm most shocked about is that this is a silicone free formula and it doesn't feel like it. Usually I can tell when there's no silicones, but this isn't giving anything away. It's got glycerin in it, coconut fruit extract, acai, Rose of Jericho. I believe that is their key hero ingredient that they say is providing a lot of deconditioning. But there's also a vegan thermal shield, so heat protection in your leave-in. We love to see that. And interestingly enough, it says hold style longer with bamboo extract. I'm super happy about that. I feel like my hair is prepped and ready to get into styling, which we're gonna do a little bit of a repeat. Allure didn't award anyone for best curl gel. Honestly, when they came out with this list, it was just after I had launched my Pro Foaming Gel with Verb, so they must have missed it. It was just too close to the deadline. It's fine. She's a winner in my heart and many other curlfluencers. And so anyways, we're gonna go in again with the curls for days. I'm gonna apply this all over my head, and then I'm only gonna apply back to the Design Me Puff Me Mousse volumizing mousse, I'm only gonna apply this on one side of my head to risk looking a little wild. I wanna see if it actually provides a lot of volume and for the curl cream, I wanna see if it's gonna give me a lot of hold on its own. So let's see, shall we? All right, I'm going in with the volumizing mousse only on one side, all right? And I'm kinda of scared. I'm interested to see what just a leave-in and curl cream will look like because I haven't styled my hair like that in forever. I am a gel girly. So we'll see if this has enough hold for me. Do a little scrunch for good luck. And I'm gonna go to Fuse and we'll be back with results. All right, just to update you, I have been drying my hair via air. I put in these root clips to uh, help lift it up, but now it's like 85% dry. So I'm gonna finish it off with the blow dryer just to fluff it up. The level of softness, the same from what I can see and feel, but I'm not seeing any extra volume from using this mousse. So I don't know if it needs, to, it's more of like a round brush in type of situation, but it's not really doing anything for the curls. Besides that, my hair does feel nice and soft, but it almost feels like it's gonna fall. And I don't wanna risk that. So I'm gonna go back in with the full dry volume and texture spray, mostly because I wanna smell it, but also because it's gonna give my hair some hold and grit and lots of volume. So we'll spray it on one side first. Okay, I mean, that's what we're talking about. Okay, okay. It's giving soft, tussled, and sexy. I like it. I'm concerned it might fall, so I'll keep you updated in the next clip. All right, now we're at the end of day two of this hair exper ex experiment, and I feel like there's been a recent development. I feel like, after being very harsh on the Puff Me Volumizing Mousse, I do think that the side that it is on is holding up a little bit better. My hair overall feels very, very soft. Again, without gel, I'm not expecting a lot of longevity. I'm noticing it's a little bit more frizzy on this side, but it's nothing I'm gonna complain about. Honestly, I think the look is fabulous, but most importantly, I keep the look looking fabulous by sleeping with the bonnets. This one, best hair bonnet for an affordable version. This is the Evolve hair bonnet. Got it on Amazon. What I like about this bonnet compared to a lot of other bonnets that are on Amazon is that it is made correctly. As you can see, the shiny side, which is what you want on your hair, is on the inside. I can't tell you how many bonnets I bought, how many bonnets I come across on Amazon that the shiny side is on the outside as if it's supposed to be an aesthetic thing when it's like, no, we want the silkiness against our hair to prevent any kind of friction. So this one's actually made correctly, just like my classic orange bonnet that I've been wearing for so many years now that I still occasionally wear when my other ones are in the wash. I have new favorites now. And maybe this will be one too. It has a thicker, wider band. Having a wider band may be better if the bonnet falls off you very easily because it's gonna be a little bit more snug to your head. Might pull out our roots a little bit at the front, but we'll find out. As a first look, it is not cotton. Like it feels like a polyester. It is stretchy, but it also might be snug. Let's slip it on. We're gonna flip forward and slip tuck. Holy crook. Okay, here's, I look like a hot air balloon. <laughs> I love it. This does feel silky and like it's not going to rip out my baby hairs, which is 
what we want we don't want it to rip out our baby hair so it feels like a good sign let me go to sleep and check with you in the morning and i think we're almost done reviewing the next day all right it stayed on and i stand corrected there is a benefit to having silk on the outside so that when you pull your shirts on it really does glide but alas let's see what she looks like on the inside oh, okay let's not be alarmed let's fluff it up so the roots aren't as impacted as I expected them to be. They're actually, sure they are a little pressed, but I'm not pressed. In fact, I'm gonna use this to my advantage. I need my hair off my face today. So I'm just gonna quickly do a little impromptu hairstyle. That's literally it. It doesn't have to be clean partings, just a couple clips. And you know what? I like this. It's not my favorite. I do have a favorite bonnet right now and it has silk on the outside because it's actually reversible i'll link the one that i love in the comment section below but i will note that this one i feel like will work well for people who have a smaller head whose bonnet usually slides off because this is wider you are getting a little bit more of a tighter security around your head so all while still being comfortable i like it i think it's a great option i would only like if the bonnet part was actually a little bit bigger because i can see if you have longer hair than me it getting a little bit squished in there, which could be okay. But all in all, I've used bonnets from this brand before. Evolve, you're good to go. A few weeks later. Here we are again. Now there is one product that I have been waiting, waiting, waiting to arrive, but I don't think it's gonna show up. It is the Volo hair towel. Now this towel won Allure's 2021 and 2022 award for best towel. So I was looking forward to trying it. I did order it, it was expensive. Expansive. And you know, I don't like to judge a product before trying it, but I already, honestly, I already know I'm not gonna like it. As you can see, this towel has texture. I like to leave the texture for my hair. Anytime there is looping in the terry cloth or the material, whatever it is, on a towel, it leaves opportunity for there to be friction, for your hair to get caught, to cause frizz, even if it feels extremely soft. It might be soft. Or if you have sensory issues, it might feel very rough. Personally, and you know this if you're not new, I prefer to use a towel that is completely smooth. Now this is the one from The Perfect Hair Care. This is the collection, this is the, the design that we launched last year. Not just the pattern, but again, the feeling. This is the one that I personally recommend. It is really big, it fits all of your hair. It's very absorbent and it looks fashionable on your head too. You can wear it out. Yeah, I have. <laughs> But that's up to you. It depends on how you want to style your hair in 2022. 2023. Listen, going into the new year, what am I going to continue using from this list? Let's recap, shall we? Over this trial and error period, there are a few exceptional products that stood out that I will continue using this year. There may be no surprise here. First and foremost, the Olaplex number no. 4C Clarifying Shampoo. I was using it before I got the Allure Award, and I'm going to continue using it because why I like it compared to a lot of other luxury products that are clarifying shampoos just a little bit goes a long way truly it's a fave next chris appleton he's a babe he got the money mask perfectly so color wow you're coming with me k18 this should go without saying if you want to see our full review on this you can watch that video next because we did a deep dive and it's worth the price next yes dad this has to be one of my favorite products from we dad in general i just think it smells amazing and it works really well at refreshing so it's a win. Now that pattern, this is different. I really, I'm just, the actual pick is in my washroom because I have been using it. I just love the way it feels on my scalp and I love you, Tracy. It's a win. Another product I was using before the award is the Briogeo Scalp Revival Charcoal Tea Tree Scalp Mask. It's just, it's just so nice, especially in the winter. Save your scalps, save your souls. Okay, now most of these were already tried and true, but something that was new that truly impressed me Miss Jennifer Aniston. I just think that this formula felt really unique. I, I mean, I think it's pretty cool. It's unique that it doesn't have water specifically in it. I really like the way it made my hair feel and I can see myself continuing to use this in 2023 after I finish uh, the leave-in conditioners that I already have open. I gotta move through the old product before moving into this, but in the meantime, I think I'm gonna lend this to Amanda to try it because if you wanna see her review on that, you should check out her Instagram and TikTok. Maybe we can get her to do a review. As for everything else, nothing really wowed me, unfortunately. 
And, and that's all I have to say on that. Um, but let me know if there's any of the other products that I tried that you find really work well for you. And please share how you like to use it and maybe what your hair type is. That way, someone else that's watching and reading the comments may be able to learn something from you. We love to help each other in this community. And on that note, I do want to answer a comment that was on last week's video. So Emma, thank you so much for your question, was asking, wait, what's the difference between a clarifying shampoo and a moisturizing shampoo? Can't a moisturizing shampoo also be clarifying? And how do I know which one to use? The reality is a clarifying shampoo and a moisturizing shampoo could have the same cleansing agents. They might both be a sulfate shampoo, but a moisturizing shampoo may also have ingredients that help to counteract the drying effects or the really cleansing effects of a sulfate. For example, it may have really moisturizing properties. It may have oils. It may even have silicones to help continue to make your hair feel good. So it's not going to be a true clarifying shampoo, whereas a clarifying shampoo should strictly cleanse your hair, leave nothing behind. They're the ones that may make your hair feel dry, but that's okay. You just got to go in with a conditioning mask afterwards. It's really important to have that reset. It's really important that your clarifying shampoo does have ingredients that are going to help to remove really hard things to remove, not just product buildup, not just sebum from your scalp, but also things like heavy metals, minerals that are found in our water. If you're looking for one, that's part of the reason why I love the Olaplex shampoo. And if you want to learn more about different types of shampoos, we have a video on that. You can click this video here to watch that next because as for this video, we, we are done here. Let me know in the comment section below any questions again that you have or which product impressed you the most. I will have the links to all of these in the description box below. And I want to thank you so much over the past five years almost for all the love and support and subscriptions that you have given us on this channel. You've given us so many opportunities and we're just so excited to continue growing with you. This is an amazing community that we're so proud to be a part of and, and to guide you through your curly hair, your natural, your, your healthy hair journey. That's what this is all about. It's about gaining confidence in yourself. And in 2023, that is the energy. Okay, I want you to give me a high five. I want you to give me a hug and a kiss. And I want you to stay tuned for next Texture Thursday. Because that's when we'll see you in the next full video. But stay tuned. This first style will be up on the shorts. I love you. This has been your main girl Mel, and I'm out. Peace. We are gathered here today to remember 2022. It was a year filled with fear. On the bright side, we're in a new space. We got a fresh face. Feeling good this year. We high five. We got Amanda in the room with me, holding me accountable. Okay, we're gonna bang this bitch out. Yes, I swore. I'm not. I don't. I shouldn't be afraid to swear. No, I'll swear again. I'm a fucking swear. If I fucking want to. <laughs> Sorry. We, this channel has not been labeled for kids. Now, if your kids watch, I mean, listen. I love the kids, but the kids don't have to love me. That's not my responsibility. Okay.